What is going on guys, you're back on another video today, it is week 6 in our Legacy franchise, of course this is an online user franchise, I don't really mention that too much, uh, you guys wanted to see the rosters uh, of all of our opponents, however we're a little bit in the future so I will show you that, but it could be inaccurate a little bit, so once again this is a little bit in the future so take it with a grain of salt, but just look at the gist of it, you know, a pretty decently accurate quarterback, a little bit of throw power, a decent running back core, they're getting old, Receivers are pretty decent, not super fast outside of Brashad Perriman. Tight end, not really going to worry about that. Offensive line, actually pretty damn solid, probably better than ours. Pass rush, however, it's hard to beat us, but still a pretty decent core, decent front seven. Middle linebacker Jordan Jones is a tough guy to stop. He's been uh, getting a lot of user picks with him. Having a little bit of a pick battle here, so we'll see how that goes. And of course, that pretty much you know shows the roster. You guys seen the overall, I can't remember, was it a low 90, I believe? So, we're playing in their home. It's it's not been an easy time going against them. I believe we've even lost to them in the past. So, this could very well be our first loss in like 40 games. I know we're on, off to one of the greatest seasons. Well, not even greatest season. We're off to the greatest stretch of uh, seasons in the history of the NFL. But obviously, sooner or later, that's going to come to then. Whether it's this game... Three games from now, the playoffs, sooner or later, surely somebody's going to catch up to us. We keep, you know, filtering in new players all the time. Somebody's going to make a big enough mistake one game to where we just can't recover, you know? It's going to happen. And maybe that's the mistake right there. A sack that knocks, up, knocks, knocks us out of field goal range and we don't get a score and we really needed it. I don't know. Especially when he throws a pick. And that's uh, Jones, I believe, with the user very fast. Kind of reminds me of Jatavis. You guys remember how insane we were with Jatavis. Unfortunately, you know, we had to go with other guys. He's still on the team, obviously. But he's just become really less uh, turnover crazy. Speaking of crazy, third and six. How the hell did he catch? He even turned around to try to break the ta to tackle our guy on the pick. Was that caught as well? What the hell is happening? How are these catches coming down? And over the middle... I don't know how you jump a high point with a guy that's got great jumping. It just doesn't happen. You have to throw it underneath. And what is that throw, Jacoby? Come on. We're down seven after throwing a pick. What are you doing? We did have the tight end. It's another pick. I will say, I don't know how the hell that guy covers our guy on the inside. Rocket is a very good route runner, super fast. Did see the tight end wide open there. That's that's a bit of a mistake. And here goes his not super fast quarterback getting almost a first down. This is off to a very rough start. And a lot of you guys are probably thinking, that little speech he had in the beginning is a little questionable. Is this going to be the first loss? Honestly, if you want the true answer, I really can't remember. <laughs> I really can't. Uh, with some of these catches, though, I'm starting to lean towards maybe we do lose. <laughs> I don't even know. Second and goal from the eight back of the end zone. There you go. Seeing for the rookie and a bunch of other guys. Casey Hayward, who's a little bit on the older side. Third and goal from the eight. Over the middle. What a play by, holy crap, Moses. Probably should have got a pick, but at least he got it out of there. We're down by 10, but it's all right. Weber, nice little first down to the 40-ish yard line. You know, the first quarter already gone. Second quarter underway. First and goal. Lock it on the inside. Going to have to have a big block. Oh, never mind. The screen just glitched. I don't even know what just happened there. Lock it with a huge gainer. Lock it with a spin. Lock it one away. Cutting to the left. Cannot get it. By the way, I don't know what's going on with the um the delay in audio i'll probably have to take a look at this video but yeah there's something going on with that and i don't even know it's my fault speaking of my fault i thought we threw a high point and we couldn't get it over such a great drive huge hit by jacoby jesus three picks in the first half this is not a good look at all and there goes Le'Veon bell getting stopped this defense it it's so insane it's literally legendary all right it's it's legendary Offense is struggling. I know we've given up 10. But this defense, man, it's there's no other defense you want in the league at all. I was going to say when you're down, but just at all. You don't you don't want anyone else. This this is just you're fine. You get this defense and you're good. <laughs> we have built such a great team and look at Melvingo. Melvin saved the team. Look at him. He's not even down. Oh my god, that is a huge play. That's that momentum type of play where it's like, "All right, I'm Jacoby Brissett. I'm a legend and I'm going to get a touchdown." Finally, we get on the board, lock it, get seven. And like we were mentioning with that defense, it's so good. All these mistakes, and we're only down three. You know, we gave up the ball three times. Three interceptions. I don't even think we took the ball away once. 
Here on second and five, we do stop Brashad short. It's going to be third and one. We've done really well on the ground defense. However, he's not going to go to it. Probably a little smart. To the outside, and there goes Lavert Hill with the pick. Can he turn it upfield? He can. Can he beat the edge? He can. And just like that, we are in the lead. It's it's just that simple. Two minutes left in the second quarter. I don't know who gets the ball here. What a damn play by Damon Harrison. Don't hear his name very often. Tevin Coleman and Le'Veon Bell, that running back committee, is really good. Just not super successful against us. He's going to try to run, and there's our fault with Bosa. Going to hammer him, though. Obviously, going to be second and short, so I'm not really super confident in our ability to get off the field. And there you go. <laughs> Just give it to him. Might as well reset the downs. Now we got a chance. <laughs> First and 10 from the 41-yard line. Looking for someone open. Not really seeing it. Back of the end zone potentially. No, he's not going to take it. Getting chased down. Going to throw it away. Bows are not super fast these days, but fast enough. Second and 10 from the 41-yard line. Up the middle is wide open. Instead, he takes the shot. And guess who? Moses with another monster slap. Probably should go for a pick one of these times, Moses. He's an amazing one. We're, you know, he's amazing when we're using him. But not when someone else is. And they're going to say that's pass interference, which clearly is not pass interference. That is a bit of a bailout play, which really sucks. Just as we got back into it, Moses. We've been lurking with him. Now, he as an AI has done well. We as a user has obviously done well. Le'Veon Bell, where are you going? Like, we're just too good. Stopped him. It's going to be uh, you know a one-point lead still. People shown to his 89 speed is apparently the greatest return man ever. Look at that cut. Holy crap. To the 45-yard line. Peoples Jones with an amazing one. That's going to help us get a chance here before half. And here goes Hunter Henry out of bounds. 16 seconds with one timeout. Apparently not out of bounds anymore. Quick throw to Melvin. You know, obviously you want to protect the end zone, but he almost just let us walk down the field on this one. We're going to try to get a little bit closer and... It's not a great throw. Great route. Wasn't good throw, but we got our three points back. So we erased what he did, and we're still up by four. Taking a shot deep. That would have been a crazy one. Brashad Perriman's fast, but he's not very good at catching. I think he got him a little late for him to actually do anything. If you would add him at a young age, I think he would have probably made him into a great player. Because for some reason, he really loves him. I know he's fast, but still, I don't know, a little late in the career, I think. Of course, third and 18, there's a flag we decline. It's going to be a punt. Eckler gets about eight yards. Not even eight. Seven yards. Third and one now from the 38-yard line. Looking for the conversion. There goes Lockett. Obviously, I don't really like to go short like that all the time, but it's third and one. What do you want? <laughs> it's, teams in real life need to start taking that all oh, that approach. Unfortunately, a sack for Lewis. Second of the game. Third and 16. You see too many guys going super deep. Just get that yard. It's one yard. What's so hard? To the outside. And that was very close to a pick. Those are always get me. I have a guy with a 97 throw power. I think I can fit it into anything. Just like your mama. Well, um, there's the second and 11 from the 19 yard line. You know, the first looks really haven't been open for him. And there goes a run, of course. Uh, Kuistra brings him down. I don't think it's even going to be a sack, but it's a forced fumble. So, you know, it's all right. And speaking of forced fumbles, is that Bosa? He forces it, gets up, recovers it. That's a game changing play, a singular individual effort. And look at Melvin. Oh, my God. He can't get in, though. What a damn play. That's, you can't have played it better than we just did there. Melvin made an amazing play. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Jacoby, I don't know how the hell he holds on to that. Quarterbacks literally cough up the ball like it's nothing in this. And inside, what a hit by his user. Down to the one. We make the smart play, even though it's really painful. We get our uh, seven-point lead with the field goal. Le'Veon Bell. Beside that, you know, BS fall forward has been completely locked. 10 for negative 5. This is our best run-stopping performance ever. The defense in general is playing out of its mind anyways. Fourth and 11, he's going to go for it inside. I think his guy was worried about the hit. I think his, I mean, to be fair, you don't have the greatest receivers on those plays anyways, but I think he was worried about the hit. Second and four. There's nobody on Melvin. Melvin gets about 14 yards on that quick throw. Eckler inside. Eckler just walks into the end zone on Jones. And that's going to give us a two-possession lead. Of course, you're going to see a kick return here. Uh-oh. Ooh, that was close. That was close. That almost, almost went for six. Second and three from the 40-yard line. There's still a lot of time. You know, he's got a lot of work to do, but there's still a chance. Defense has been so damn locked down. It's unbelievable. You can force all the turnovers you want, but this defense is still not going to make it easy on you. They're not going to see the scoreboard and think it's over. They're going to think the score is 100-0. to zero. 
They don't care. They're still going to try their hardest. Second and three to the outside. Casey Hayward is close enough, but not close enough to stop the catch, unfortunately. Quick throw underneath to the running back. He's finding a lot of success to the running back short. Smart play because we're trying to prevent deep with our user linebacker. Here comes a run inside, and he's going to score the touchdown. So with six minutes left, he comes, you know, overcomes this, this dry streak of scoring. And, you know, with a sack there, he has a really damn good chance at making this comeback after kind of blowing the lead. I don't even know what you want to call it. It's weird. Third and 18. Jacoby just chucks one sideways. That's just not going to go. Back to everyone up. Maybe should have just ran the ball to make the punt a little bit better. But instead, five minutes left from the 40. He's got plenty of time to try and win this thing. First and 10. That is not a good decision. There goes Trevor Williams. I mean, that was a first down play. You got to hold on to that, buddy. Trevor Williams down the sideline tries to spin. Cannot get past the quarterback. Even with the you know the pick, it's not going to be completely over. Not super favorable, and that is a huge penalty. Of course, we got bs a few times of penalties, so we're going to accept it. And looking for someone underneath. Look at Weber. Weber catches the ball basically at the line of scrimmage. Sneaks his way in for almost 10 yards. Almost scoring. Pitch to the outside. Melvin cannot get in. We get rejected three straight times. Nice view of the stadium there. Don't know what's going on in there because look at this thing. With 10 points of deficit. We saw it was going to come sooner or later. He had one earlier, almost took it. Two and a half minutes left. We're only up three. This is this is not looking good. You got Melvin. He does, That's not even Melvin. That's Eckler. Doesn't decide to stop. Thankfully, we face catch it because otherwise that could have been a pick. Third and 10. This could be for all the marbles. There's Lockett. You threw it too late, and that's almost picked off. Two minutes left. We choked it. He choked it, but it was early, so he has an excuse. We choked it. It's late. We have no excuse. Good sack there by the DT, it appears. I don't even know what the hell just happened. That was weird. It looked like it was a flag or something. First and 10 inside DT. It's not even DT. That's Sanford. Man, this is uh, it's not looking good. 45-yard line. Second and one from the 45, like we said. Keep saying it, buddy. Maybe it'll change. Uh, gets the first down to the outside. A very tough, tough window. And on the run, sideline. What a strip by Derwin. Huge play there. Obviously puts it right into the tie game. Third and eight now. This is a chance to get off the field to honestly win the game. How the hell does he hold on to that? He only, it only gains three yards, but it's enough for a field goal. One minute left. Just don't make a mistake. That's a good play. Tyree Cleveland, almost the 40. We've got one timeout. We're not going to put it too crazy risk, but we're obviously going to give it a try. Inside is wide for Weber. Weber still making moves. Please stop. Please stop. Down to the 34. Our yard line. 16 seconds left. One timeout. We just got to get a little closer. Quick throw inside. Tyree Cleveland. Who else would you want to throw to? And here with three seconds left. No timeouts either side. It's going to be an ice kick for the rookie to win the game and extend the streak. It is up. And it is good. Barely gets inside. The rookie is off to an amazing start. What a game. Continue the streak slightly. Just barely. An amazingly poor first half for Jacoby Brissett. We overcome that. Jacoby does his best in the second half to redeem himself. Defense obviously played out of its mind. Kind of gave up a little bit of plays. But really with an offense, you know, the offense is, you know, rallying. You start seeing that you're like, hey. Yeah, let's just not give up the big play. As long as we waste the clock, the offense does their part. This is an easy win. Both teams not really firing on all cylinders. Defense obviously clutch in the first half to make that thing manageable for us so we didn't start changing the game plan too much. And obviously, all of it came together. Jacoby with one of his worst performances, I wouldn't say in his career, but definitely this season. I mean, maybe, maybe a top five worst performance in his career just because that's how good he's been. Uh, Lockett and Weber had some really good games. Tyree Cleveland, not a lot, but a lot of those catches were clutch plays in fourth quarter or overtime. Uh, there was no overtime. What am I talking about? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys come back for the next video. Maybe subscribe, like, I don't know. But until next video, see ya!